Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video, we are going to create this seamless typographic animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects as always the first thing we will do we will create our new composition I'll call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration I'll choose 30 seconds you can choose even more than that but for this animation I'll choose 30 second only and we will choose background color white color and hit ok and simply hit ok now this is going to be our main animation now i'll enable this choose grid and guide option and then hit title safe action now again we will create a new composition for our main text animation so i'll call it as main text animation and width for this one i'll choose 100 and hit ok as you can see we have the one strip over here now press ctrl y to create one solid layer i'll call it as bg and we'll choose black color for this one and simply hit ok and hit ok now after that what we need to do we will choose our rectangle tool over here we don't need any fill so i'll delete this fill and the only thing i need to care about over here is this stroke so i'll choose white color for this stroke and stroke width i'll choose one pixels and double click on this icon of the rectangle tool like this as you can see we have a proper rectangle in our composition now go to this rectangle one rectangle path one we have size over here first thing we need we need to do is that we need to unlink this chain so i'll unlink this and we will decrease the size from here let's say 90 and one from here let's see this thing in full resolution so we will get this kind of things i'll remove this title safe action over here so we can see properly now after that what we need to do we need to type over saying before that i'll enable this option again now i'll choose my text tool i'll type one text over here let's call it as hit ctrl a to select this text go to the character i'll decrease the font so i can see my font over here i'll choose this option so all of them should be in caps i'll type over here So this is my main text i'll select this text with the help of text tool i'll select all the text by hitting ctrl a i'll select ctrl all the text hit ctrl c to copy go to the last hit space two times and hit ctrl v again hit space two times and hit ctrl v now select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now press S for scaling option and scale it little bit unless until it will fit in our comp. Now we need to animate this thing. So for that what we will do, we will select this, press P for position and create one keyframe over here. Go to around 6 second and with the help of our moving tool by holding shift, I will simply move this thing out of this composition like this. Let's make this fit and let's see how does it looks. Now after that we will hit Ctrl D, hit U, select this text uh, keyframes and simply hit delete. We don't need position keyframe from this text and at the last at this keyframe I will select this text and I will make it apparent with this second one. And now we will alt click on this position and we will call it as loop pout expression on it so if you see over here we will get this looping animation so our main text animation is done so i'll hit ctrl n now and i'll call this composition as a strip and for this one i'll choose height 200 and simply hit ok now we will drag our main text animation comp on this strip with the help of align tab, I'll align it at the top 
now hit ctrl d and i'll align this thing at the bottom so if you see we will get this kind of stuff now select any one of them go to the effect and presets panel and simply apply tint effect on it and i'll swap these colors like this and if you want this animation should be reverse all you need to do right click time time reverse layers so we will get this kind of animations in opposite directions so uh, this animation is done now we will go to our main animation hit ctrl 0 we will choose our strip i'll drag this over here press r for rotation i'll rotate it on 90 degree or you can rotate it on minus 90 degree it's up to you press s for scaling option and scale it until it will properly fit to our comp s i'll make it 55 or let's say 56 i'll choose full resolution like this let's make it 57 and yeah, this looks good to me now after that select this strip go to the effect and presets panel and i'll apply cc reptile effect on it and expand down i'll choose 2000 expand down up i'll choose 2000 like this and instead of repeat i'll choose this brick let's see how does it looks yeah now select this text strip press ctrl shift c i'll call it as what we call main strip and move all attributes into new composition now we need to convert this thing into 3d hit ctrl d and press r for rotation and we will rotate it on x axis let's make it minus 90 if you or someone around let's say minus 75 like this now i'll create one null object i'll select both of them and make it apparent with this null one press s for scaling option for this null and scale it a little bit and simply move this thing over here you can scale it again like this and if we hit play now we will get this kind of animation over here hit u now i will select my paint tool for the stroke color i will choose black color hit ok and from here to here i will create one stroke i will increase the width of the stroke press ctrl alt home simply go to the effect and presets panel and simply apply gaussian blur effect on it and i will increase the blurriness around 50 or even more than that or you can do increase the width of the stroke and increase the blurriness something like this or even more than that so you get this kind of stuff now i'll select this main strip hit ctrl d i'll drag it over here now i am not going to convert this into 3d and don't make it apparent to this anyone and go to the if align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this now we will apply cc sphere effect on it so it will convert this comp into one sphere I'll increase the radius something like that go to the light option you can change the light direction I'll move it to uh, uh, here you can increase the light height I'll make something like this go to the shading option I'll increase the ambient something like this now we will move this composition over here initially now if i go to my main text animation which we have created earlier in this tutorial as we can see our last keyframe is at six second if it's not at six second make it sure that it should be in six seconds like this so six seconds is our looping point so if i go to main animation 
and hit n over here and then i play i choose quarter one so as you can see after a single second this animation will be in loop so why did i tell that let's see now i'll select my main strip press p over here create one keyframe and around six i'll move this composition over here I'll choose quarter now this is plane we need to rotate this thing so I'll go to the rotation property let's see on what axis we need to rotate it if you want this to be changed you can change according to you like this this thing over here so this looks good to me now i'll create one rotation on z axis hit u and at this point let's see how it does it looks it should be like this and i'll drag this keyframe over here let's see how does this animation looks i think we need to rotate it a little bit Then this looks good to me now go to full now we need to create one shadow over here so for that what we will do we will choose our lips tool we don't need any stroke so i'll delete the stroke the only thing i want over here is black color and we will create one ellipse over here press ctrl alt home and bring this down to our main strip which is our spare now and I move this thing over here and I'll make it apparent with this main strip and simply I'll apply blur effect on it Gaussian blur and I'll increase the blurriness like this so if I hit play now in full resolution let's see how does it looks it will take a little bit time to render this thing in our preview panel yep so our final animation will look like this so yep this is our final output and as always if you want to change the colors of all of them simply create one adjustment layer and apply tint effect on it you can swap those colors or instead of black you can choose any color you want you are free to choose any color as you can choose this and anything so yep this is our final output So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. And if you want to watch after effect tutorials in Hindi then please consider to visit my another channel called AG Animations. Link will be available in the description. Until then stay tuned.